two-time U.S. Open nine-ball champion. Dynamite, Darren Appleton. I came from the mud. Looks good. Looks good. It is good. The most important one was winning the World Ten Ball Championship because it's everyone's dream to be world champion. Could go into the edge of this. Grinder, fighter, play with a lot of emotion, a lot of art. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dynamite Drill. And uh, Today I think I've come up with a really cool one. I haven't really got a name for it yet, I've never seen it before, so I'm pretty sure that this will be uh, the first time you've seen it. Uh, but for now I'm going to call it the 16 shot double chain diamond nine ball drill the reason why because as you can see there's a diamond here and a diamond at the bottom and the nine balls the chain to the two diamonds so the the basic rules are is that you can't bump another ball you start with cue ball in hand uh, the catch is is that after every lowest ball i make i've then got to make the nine ball respot the nine ball and just keep going on like that in rotation so uh, the rules are very simple it's easy to set up you'll see that in the diagram anyway i'm going to give it a go and i'm even going to try and talk you through it as well right so let's give it a go we start a ball in hand and i must warn you that this drill is very tricky and it requires really precise traditional play especially getting shape on the nine ball because remember you can't touch another ball but don't worry you can make the balls in any pocket you just can't bump at any other ball so here I got a bit more angle than I would like so I think I'm going to play for the two in the opposite corner so that's fine so remember that you can take the balls in any pocket you just gotta go with the lowest ball to the nine ball every time so getting on the nine ball is is really the key to this drill and uh, sometimes you'll have to get the right side of it so i'm going to draw this with inside the english i've come a little bit too far again but too far is better than short because obviously if I come short, I'm sort of dead. Unless I take it in the corner, obviously. Well, that makes uh, life a bit more difficult. Didn't play that as good as I would like. I'm going to have to play a good shot here. Thin cut into the top left. Played it pretty good. So the key shot, I think you all can see, is that the after making the purple four, and then the nine, getting shape on the nine to the five is going to be going to be massive. So I need to get really good on the five ball. So. Uh, Coming too far here is no good, so I need to make sure that I get more or less perfect on this nine ball. Let's have a little walk round. I've got a slight angle on the purple. So anywhere here would be ideal. Anyway, let's see what happens. I think this is a big shot in the uh, in the drill. Obviously it's not bad. We're not the best shot I've ever played, but it's not bad. Now I think I'm just going to, quite close to a scratch if I try and go two rails. So I'm just going to try and play this no rail and just float it down here and hopefully get the speed of the shot right. I need to slow down a little bit. So I've gone about three inches too far. Anyway, let's have a look. Remember that you can take the balls in any pocket, so I don't need to play for the nine in the side pocket. So I do have a shot here. It's 
Could do with that cue ball slowing down a little bit. And to be honest, I couldn't have played it any better. Remember that you can't leave the cue ball where the nine is. That'd be no good. So I need to be very careful here. It's nice pocket speed. Nicely on the six. Well, this is probably like the key shot for me, I, I would think. I'll do with that slowing down just a little bit. A little bit too hard. Not a disaster. So the question is here, do I land short on the seven? Or do I risk coming here? But I don't want to get snookered by the nine ball. And uh, the rule is here, what I'm just going to make up, is that if the cue ball lands on the nine spot, on the nine ball spot, sorry, then you, you're going to have to spot it on uh, on the brown spot. So here, a little bit of a tricky angle. I think I'm just going to play this pocket speed. Hopefully get past the eight ball. And that's worked out great. So I'm going to play a nice little soft draw here. Hopefully get straight or just the right side of the nine, just like that. And the good thing with this drill as well is that you don't need to hit a rail, but it's a very, very tricky drill, but a very good one. Good for your touch, your feel, using the rails, thinking out the box a little bit. A little bit short, but shouldn't be a problem. And just make sure of the angle. And there you go. Uh, really enjoyed that drill. Uh, it's got all aspects of the game come into play. Uh, the only rule I need to think about is what happens if the cue ball lands on the nine ball spot after making the nine ball. But that's something I'll think about and I'll get back to you. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the drill. I think you all should give it a go. And we will see you for the next one. Mm -hmm.